Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday. It is video number 20 and yes, believe it or not, it is the last video of linens. Today is the last day that I'll be publishing any more videos regarding the D-Stash linen sale. So, if you're interested in anything from today's video, you know what to do. You email me, you tell me video number 20, item one, three, ten, all, whatever, and it comes here. Also, you can look at all the past videos. Provided it doesn't say sold, that means there are still items available. Just check the description boxes for any available items. Also, please know, regarding your invoicing, I am starting that tomorrow, which is Monday. I want to say I appreciate every one of you who have contacted me and asked me for items. We've got things in your boxes. It's probably going to take me till Wednesday because there are a few of you and I'm so grateful. So look in your emails starting, it could be Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, the latest for your invoices. They're going to come from the square to the email you provided me. If by any reason by Thursday you haven't received an invoice from me, please email me at findingsbyjnm at gmail.com. Also, remember the Square offers off afterpay. If you have any other issues or concerns, feel free, reach out to me, email findingsbyjnm at gmail.com. Now, let's get the show on the road. Let's do video 20, the last of the linens. And here we go. We'll start off with something soft. It is item number one. Three napkins, very pretty, very soft, and they're $2. One of them has a rip and a little stain, but again, we use these to practice our slow stitching. We can cut them up, use them for uh, pockets, belly bands, mixed media, coffee dye them, crafting, have fun. Item number one, three napkins, $2. Item number two is a beautiful collar. Just showing you the whole collar. These look great on little black dress, little navy dress. How about a burgundy dress, white dress? Put it over a white blouse. You attach it with little hook and eye if you want, pearl button, or what I like to do is just take a fancy brooch, put it in the middle, and you've got a beautiful collar. Item number two, and this collar is $10. Item number three is a pack of 12. This one is loose, so I can take, which is the loose one? This is the loose one. 12 cocktail napkins. They're still sewn on this paper. And it's adorable. Look at this. You can use this for a hanky. I mean, you can use it for a posy holder. Make it into a sachet. Use them what they were intended for. A cocktail napkin. Item number three. You get 12. I'm asking $10. Item number four is a tablecloth. Who measures 59 by 70. My friend measured this. It could be off. I know it's definitely 70 inches. Um, she's number four. She's $10. I'm trying to just get to a spot so I can unravel some of this, which you never can do. doesn't matter if you're taping, if you're going live. Very hard, as you know, to show big items. I don't have a big table. Let me show you this. And guys... I'm taking my time because I want you to see if there are any issues, discolorations or stains. I want you to know what you're getting. So hang in there with me. I've been told I talk very, very fast. So I try to slow myself down for you. Um, I'm going to take this. This is the back, but I wanted to show you there's a little and it's very hard to see. But That's why I'm using a, a white hanky. It's hard to tell, but there's like a little discoloration here, which could be uh, a coffee stain. Why don't I flip this? Here we go. I think this is the right way. 
But look at how this is made. It's really cool. I, I don't know. Is it machine made? Is it machine made and handmade where they sew these pieces on? I really can't tell. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is, now, what I wanted to point out to you, which I've noticed, this is the back. There are some long strings. I'm not cutting them, tying them. I'm not doing anything with them because I don't know much about this type of workmanship. I will leave that to the owner of this beautiful tablecloth. Um, let's get, let me get to the middle just to show you that the middle piece is the best way we're gonna do this. Where are you? The middle piece just has this pretty rectangle in it. To me, they look like really pretty cute little stars. But again, if you don't want this as a tablecloth, you can cut all these things up. This is, goes all around all four sides, and then you have the bottom. So if you're interested in item, oops, number four, the tablecloth is $10. Item number five, cute doily, table, little round table cover. Isn't she cute? She's $5. Hand done. Item number six. This is a 48 inch square tablecloth. And what it looks like to me, and this is the only place where there's a design on it, is on this corner. And it looks like, and it feels, let me just see something. Like it was hand painted, but when you go like that, it doesn't crack. So I, I'm not sure. I just think this is a very pretty cloth. It's 48 inches square. Think of it as a piece of fabric. It's item number six, and she's $3. Item number seven is another, what I'm going to call, it is a tablecloth. Nothing special, but again, I think for the fabric, it's great. Every corner has this flower with this pull-out stitching. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but each corner has it. The rest of it is just plain. So if you're interested, this is item number seven. She's $3. Item number eight is a runner. This is what she looks like. Very pretty on a dark table, or if you use colored tablecloths and then you put white over it, very pretty. It's more of a, of a, a creamy color. So that's our runner. Item number eight. Item number eight is three dollars. Item number nine. I don't know what this was or is or what it should be. Um, you can cut these out. Use this as a journal cover. Um, I had a few of these. What I did with them, I actually took embroidery floss and I in and out wove some different colors and this is item number nine a dollar here we have a little oval doily isn't she pretty she's got a little hole right there there's the back item number 10 is a dollar item number 11 is another doily and it goes this way so you can see it up close and personal, she's a dollar. Item number 12 is an open crochet, or I guess that's what you call it. She needs to be ironed. She's a cute little rosette in the middle. She's number 12. She's a dollar. Item number 13. Look at all the fun little pieces you can cut out on this little baby. And she's a dollar. Number 14. I love this piece. It, it definitely must have come with a set. I mean, look at how they put that together. Someone took their time with that. She's item number 14, and she is $2. Item number 15 is another oval doily. And she's a dollar. Item 16, here is our ever faithful round doily. Looks like little fans to me or the Egyptian uh, papyrus, papyrus. She's a dollar. Item number 17. This to me looks like shamrocks. 
Cut these out, a dollar. 18. Has some staining here. I would just re -cough. I would just coffee stain this. She's a dollar. Number 19, is this Battenberg? Cute little um, flowers in that. Very pretty. She's a dollar. Okay, item number 20 is, I don't know. I would use this as just a little placemat for myself when I'm having my little Demi TS coffee. This was my great aunt's set. I just inherited that. Anyway, um, I just thought it was really pretty. So those of you who like to do home decor or um, these were hand done. Number 20, I, $3. Item 21. Oh, don't you love this? Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. And yeah, this also is showing some staining. I would just coffee dye it. She's item number 21. And I'm asking $5. Item number 22 is a pillowcase who has seen better days. The fabric is great. Unfortunately, it looks like someone was ironing it. You can't tell it. Let me see. You really, maybe like that. Anyway, it's ripped, but look at this. This you could take right off, frame this. It's a little girl or lady with her little arm. She's holding her skirt, and look at all that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's hand done. If you're interested in the tablecloth, uh, no, pillowcase. Item number 22, she's $5. Item number 23 is another pillowcase. It does have some, I think it's just from being stored, you know, and sometimes when they fold them for a long time, they get that crease. But she's a beautiful tablecloth outside of that. Again, if you're making one of those embroidery books or doily books, how pretty would that be? And then you've got all this fabric. Item number 23 is $5. Item number 24 is seven linen napkins that have this design on it. And I'm asking $4. Item number 25, I'm in love with. Okay, we're having a little avalanche here. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry. This was done by hand, as you can tell. But unfortunately, yes, she has a stain here on this side, but look at this. This just breaks my heart. So if you want to coffee dye this piece, it would be great. You can cut it up and turn it into other things. And for that reason, we're asking for item 21, $2. No. Back it up. Item 25 is the bows, $2. Just give me, how do we end up with these in the wrong position. Okay, doesn't matter. Moving on. Item 27 is um, hand towel, fingertip towel. How pretty and delicate. She's a dollar. Then we have a really pretty, this is a runner in pink with all these great doilies on them. Number 28 and she is three dollars. Item number 29, another very pretty uh, maybe it's a dresser skirt or a little cute little runner. She's $2, item 29. Item number 30 is four napkins. I just love all of this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And these have little, little... Turn them on the back real quick. So you can see it has like stuff like this on it. So again, turn these into book covers, embroidery, practicing. Um, you know, if you do like little tablescapes, things like that. People just like to decorate. How cute is that? Item number 30, $3. 
Item 31 is a really large peacock pink doily. We cut this up for days. Nice, pretty, round doily. She's $2. Item number 32 is another big one in a um, crew color. Very pretty floral in the center. She does have some staining. Here are the edges. $1.50. Item 33. I don't know if this is a fingertip towel. I, I don't know what this is. I just love it. Here's the lace. Here's the back. And it's a basket. And my little basket, it's all hand done, $2. Number 34 is another placemat. I like to turn these into books. You can actually fold it into four, rectangularly or into a square. And she is number 34, $1.50. Number 35, we have another one of those. I don't know if they're a fingertip towel or, or what they're supposed to be. I mean, me, I use it as a little tablescape. Uh, 35, $2. Item number 36, we have four placemats, right? This one has a little staining on it, actually on both sides, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It looks like it's a little flower, cute, cut that out. Um, you get four of these. Item number 36, four for three dollars. Item number 37 is the last of our pretty little baskets. She's two dollars. Item number 38, you're gonna get two. I believe this is rayon. Um, this is an oval. And then you get one's a pink and one's a little light pink. So for item number 38, you get two for two dollars. Item 39 is going to be four napkins. Um, has a little discoloration here. I just like the edges on these. And when you give that a little starch or whatever that other stuff is called, it'll be very pretty on a table. So item number 39, you get four napkins. For two dollars item number 40 so sweet isn't that pretty and just put a little bowl of flowers on there so our hearts there's the back she is item number 40 i'm asking five dollars item 41 is three little napkins Is that tatting guys on the end? Those in the know. Um, I think this one of these, yeah, it has a little of that kind of staining on it. That's three of them, $2. And last but not least, we have item number 42. Very pretty. I don't like to show this on the wood because you don't see how pretty it is. So let's put it over, let's see. Put this over the white and you can see it's a very pretty Lorex tabletop. You can use it as your own personal little placemat. And here's the Lorex. Let me do this. So you can see a little bit better. And that's number 42. I'm asking $2. And that, my friends, actually ends my D-Stash Linen sale for this month if you're interested in any or all in this video which is video number 20 or any of the other videos please don't forget to email me at findings by jnm at gmail.com thanks again for watching please like share comment please subscribe if you haven't tell your friends, and hit the notification button because I will be on again. 
just not today. Bye now.